Hey, I'm normal family. Uh, Saturday we're doing a, uh, a video on witches, as you all know. And um, I found something I want to share with you guys. This video may not be for everybody, okay? Um, if you're bothered by death and things of that nature, you may want to stop the video now and not watch the video. I found this information in Switzerland in a, a German uh, publication. I want to read to y'all why they are so dangerous and um, why they're deceivers and just evil. Um, like I said, I'm going to go ahead and go into this. And um, if you are sensitive to certain content, you may not want to watch this video. In the Diocese of Basel, I believe is how it's pronounced, B-A-S-E-L, at the town of Dan, D-A-N-N, -N, a witch who was burned confessed that she had killed more than 40 children by sticking a needle through the crowns of their heads into their brain as they came out from the womb. Henrich Kramer and James Springer <clears throat> from the Malus Malfacrum, after Kramer, a professor of theology at the University of Salzburg, and Springer, a dean of the University of uh, Cologne, complained to Pope Innocent the VIII that the local escalation authorities were not assisting them in stamping out witchcraft. The Pope issued a, a bull in 1484 that granted his new inquestors the right to imprison and punish people who had given themselves over to the devils, males, and females. In their book, Kramer and Springer maintained that not to believe in witches. There is a quote in the Bible, and I don't remember the exact one. I'll talk about it in the live to where it says to uh, not to allow any woman that admits to uh, practic practicing sorcery to allow her to live. I'll find that try to put it in the live. Another woman in the diocese of Strasbourg confessed that she had killed more children than she could count. And she was caught in this way. She had been called from the town to another to act as a midwife to a certain woman and, having performed her office, was going back home. But as she went out of town and out of the gate, the arm of a newly born child fell out of her cloak she had wrapped around her. In those folds, the arm had been concealed. This was seen by those who were sitting at the gateway. And when she had gone on, they picked it up from the ground, and what they took was a piece of meat. But when they looked more closely at it, thinking it was a piece of meat, they saw that it was not just any piece of meat, but recognized it was the fingers as a child's and a child's arm. They reported it to the magistrates, and it was found that a child had been, had died before baptism, lacking an arm. So the witches was taken and questioned, and they confessed to the crime. It is to be presumed that witches are compelled to do such things at the command of evil spirits and sometimes against their own wills. For the devil knows that, because of or of its original sin, such children, and this is what they believe, are debarred from entering the kingdom of heaven is the believing of the witches. They believe that they can kill the child in the womb before they're baptized and they won't go to heaven, which I do not agree with that. It's a, one of their twisted beliefs. And by this means, the last judgment is delayed when the devils will be condemned to eternal torture. Since the number of the elect is more slowly completed on the fulfillment of which the world will be consumed. Don't let them deceive you here. Children are protected to the age of accountability. When they do not kill the child, they offer it to the devil in this manner. As soon as the child is born, the midwife, if the mother herself is not a witch, carries it out in the room on the pretext of the warming. It raises it up and offers it to the prince's devils, which is Lucifer, and to all the devils. And this is done by the kitchen fire. A certain man relates that he noticed that his wife, when her time came to give birth, against the usual custom of women at childbirth, 
did not allow any woman to approach the bed except her own daughter, who acted as a midwife. Wishing to know the reason for this, he hid himself in the house and saw the whole order of the sacrilege and dedication to the devil. He saw it also, as it seemed to him, that without any human support, but by the power of the devil, the child was climbing up the chain by which the cooking pots were suspended. In great constern consternation, he strongly insisted that the child should be baptized immediately. While it was being carried to the next village, where there was a church, and when they had to cross the bridge over a certain river, he drew his sword and ran it at his daughter, who was carrying the child, saying and hearing the two others uh, who were with them, You shall not carry the child over the bridge, for either it must cross the bridge by itself, or you shall be drowned in the river. The daughter was terrified, and together with the other women in company, asked him if, there, if he were in his right mind. Then he answered, You vile drab. By your magic art, she made the child climb the chain in the kitchen. Now make it across the bridge with no one carrying it, or I shall drown you in the river. And so being compelled, she put the child down on the bridge and invoked the devil by her art. And suddenly the child was seen on the other side of the bridge. And when the child had been baptized, he had re and he had returned home, since he now had witnesses to convict his daughter of witchcraft. He accused both daughter and the mother before the judge after their period of purg purg sorry guys, purgation, and they were both burned. The crime of the midwives of making that sacrilege offering was discovered and happened throughout the centuries. Witches still, still prey on the children. Children are used in many of their witchcraft and Wicca solutions. Even the white and the black witches are as evil as the other. One is just more deceiving. I wanted to share that with you guys. Sad. That, uh, there's no other words for that except for pure evil. That is pure evil. And we're going to talk about them Saturday night at 7.45 p.m. Central Standard Time. We'll see you there. Be safe, guys. Keep your head on a swivel. And until next time, be safe for sure. Don't be something's dinner.